Gonna be honest with you all, I did not expect to enjoy this game as much as I am at the moment. I mean, we just done a side mission, storming that Imperial base. I mean, we literally went in guns blazing. We probably could have went in sneaky. We disabled the turrets, we done, you know, a load of killing. It's been amazing so far, and the fact that, you know, the weather changes, the environment, the open world. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there is plenty, and I mean plenty, to do in this open world. I mean, the faction system is really good. You know, you can choose to betray people. You know, you get choices in the missions. Even side missions have optional choices to the point of where you can... You can be doing a mission for a faction to betray another faction. And then another faction comes in and goes, Hmm, how about you betray them as well? So, you're betraying two factions. One of them is unknown like you're betraying them, so you build up reputation with them still. You gain reputation from another one. It's just amazing. You can be like a triple agent in this game, providing obviously you can sneak and, you know, you make the wise choices. So far, I mean, we're only on the opening planet. And we've spent around three, four hours here. We've done some side stuff. There has been a part purely dedicated to exploring the side content and everything like that. I mean, what we're, what we're doing now is side content as well, but it's it's fantastic so far, guys. Honestly, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I am. Storming an Imperial base, side content. That sounds like one of the coolest things ever. If you say to any Star Wars fan, how would you like to storm an Imperial base and just shoot everyone? Yeah, that sounds pretty neat. That sounds pretty cool. So, Isla said you have a slicing kit for me. Just take it so I can get back to my district. Okay, quest complete. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking the daytime effects on this game. New ability unlocked. Yeah, buddy! Allows K to slice a range of devices and use jokers to give wrench. Okay. Let's have a little look at this video. Okay, okay. So that can help out decrypting stuff as well. And slicing kit, gadget able to connect to advanced terminal list devices, interact with a device. Okay. So, we can... We haven't unlocked anything at the moment. You know, these are just things that you can follow progression for. All we need is a code breaker chip for that. All the others are obviously complete a smuggler contract, perform a takedown, a lockpick, all these. I'm not gonna... I know the wisest thing would probably be to actually track these, but at the moment I'm just... I'm just enjoying the game. I mean, look at these side missions. So the Intel missions, they are side missions. We've got 10 side missions available. Two of them are to do with, you know, breaking into vaults to get high-tech, uh, like, equipment, you know, armor, weapons, stuff like that. This is what we're going to do, the expert intel. So we've got this as well, the code breaker, which we could go and get, but we're not going to do that at the moment. We're going to do this other one where we unlock someone to do massive upgrades on our speeder so these i feel like these are they're not mandatory but i feel like you know they're probably best to unlock because it opens up your customization a lot more which obviously that is going to be so ideal for us i wonder if anyone's actually got through the game yet not doing the side stuff I initially said during this series, like part one, we're not going to do that much side stuff, you know, we're just going to do the main story, maybe side stuff here and there. We've actually done more parts so far, focusing on side content than we have main missions. To be fair, there's only 19 main missions. I, I said, I've, I've said before, I thought there was only around 19, to, 19 or 21 missions. It's actually confirmed there's only 19 missions and we're six or seven missions deep. So we're actually, you know, a quarter of the way through the game. No, a fifth of the way through the game already, which is... It's crazy to think about. Okay, so that's where we need to get down to. How are we going to get down there safely? Oh, maybe follow the road. That's probably uh, the best bet. Okay. 
wind fishing. That must be Kadua. Yeah, didn't I already come here? Oh, Jesus! What the hell happened there? Ah, uh, this is where I spoke to the mother and the daughter and she wanted to go work in the town. Okay, so I need to speak to someone. Hello? Anyone here? I've got a side mission to complete. Hello? Uh-huh. Hey, this is Kadua, right? Maybe. What's an off-worlder like you doing here? I'm looking for Sila Rovac. Why? You Empire? Uh, no, no. I, I heard she can rig my speeder. Silo left. We don't know where she is. Can't believe you're still protecting her after what she did. <sighs> well, I'm not. She's living cliffside, near Jaunter's Hope. Got it. Jaunter's Hope. Okay, what? You bet she's going to be in trouble. She's got to be. Okay, that isn't too far away. Is there anything nearby we can fast travel to? Eh, no, we'll just drive there. Let's get moving. Jesus, that's a bit happy. A lot of you guys will hear me repeating the same things, but I normally like to go over things just in case some of you guys don't actually, you know, watch the previous part. You know, I, I haven't built up enough of a view, viewership where people are constantly watching my content, so... What's he even saying? Damn I mean, it, what was I even saying? Sorry, I was getting mesmerised by the weapon mechanics and stuff. Oh yeah, basically, the map. It looks big. The map isn't actually that big, it's just to the point of where you can go from one end of the map to the other in... Hang on. Oh, an asteroid? Or comet? Whatever you want, to, or meteorite, whatever you want to say. Okay, so it's there, I need to get up. Easy said than done, because I went the wrong way. Damn it. Oh, okay, maybe I can go this way. So yeah, the good thing is, even if you're at one end of the map, and you want to travel all the way to the other end, it literally takes five minutes. I'm pretty sure the developers said that when the game was coming out as well, like, prior to release, that, you know, it's about five minutes to travel from one end of the map to the other, and there is five or six worlds, so, you know, the, the whole not being able to fast travel right away and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty neat, to be honest, you know, you feel like you want to explore in this world, you do. Uh, this is going to be Sailor's shop. Right, do we think they're going to get us to do something for them? Are you Silo? I need to kick up the power on my speeder. I don't work with off-worlders anymore. But you look like you're out of options. Got a name? <laughs> right, sorry. It's Kay. Kay Vess. I can help you, Kay. But if you want a real kick, I'll need a part. An atmospheric accelerator. The imps have one in their wind harvester. I mean, why don't I just steal it for you then? <laughs> oh yeah? Then take these. They'll power down the turbine and that's your way in. All right, sounds good. I'll take care of it and meet you back here. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. So find the pirate camp. I think that was just what we had a little phone call about before. So the good thing is, you can be exploring something in this world and come across like an item to find. And it would have been initially something you'd have to speak to someone about and get notified of a mission. So you can literally, like I could go to this wind turbine without speaking to that person there and actually start the mission without knowing. It's actually fairly neat to be honest. I like that kind of stuff where it's always in the world. The stuff is always there for you to find. So if you find it, you might skip a step or two and be like, oh, I wonder who's to return this to. It's fairly neat to be honest. I just like things like that. And one of the other things I like was the fact that I could see the weather effect changing in the cutscene. Now there are some fully rendered cutscenes, obviously. But, the weather effects do change 
generalized, you know, talk and conversations, which is fairly cool. Hey, Silo, how do I use those, um... Mag disruptors. Just secure them to the circuit panel near the turbine. Uh, guess I probably could have figured that out. Oh, and they're low capacity, so the charge might not last. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Let's go next. Oh, can you go and your speeder down here? Hang on. Let me, let me get my speeder. I don't know if we will be able to ride our speeder down there. Ready, it looks like a fair distance away. Here we go. Aha, we can. Aha. Those charges didn't really last. Past the turbine, but now my access is blocked. Shouldn't be a problem for you, though. I mean, you are really good at this. No, yeah, I, I am. You just think there'd be an easier way to get an atmospheric accelerator. Actually, I only made the one. It's in the converter room at the top of the harvester. The Empire stole it? I gave it to that one. In exchange for some off-world parts. I didn't... <gasps> uh. Didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry, what was that? I gave it to them. In exchange for some off-world parts. I didn't know they'd use it to divert the winds and cut off our farmers. Well, the good news is, they won't have it for much longer. <sighs> Could've used a few more of those mag disruptors. Yeah, we could have, but oh, another vent! The spoiling us. I'm pretty sure every part we've done in this series so far has included a vent. It's honestly like playing I Alien Isolation all over again. That's a thing that I forgot. I'm watching Alien Romulus tonight. I, I tend to go to the cinemas, you know, and there's barely anyone in there. I don't know, I mean... Oh, God. Okay. Right, stand here. Here we go. Is it going to activate again? Yeah. Okay, stand here. We're out of safety. I mean, we could have ran the whole way across and it would have been fine. When you guys go to the cinema, do you normally go as soon as, as soon as it's out? Like, say, my little brother went on his own to watch Deadpool and Wolverine as soon as it was out. And I was like, nope, that's not my type of thing. I like going when there's barely anyone left. Right, so we're going to have to jump on these vents. Wow. Uh, right there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, aha! No, we actually need to shoot that one. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Come on, man! That's not fair! Why do that? Yeah, my little brother went to watch Deadpool and Wolverine on his own. When it was first out, and I was like, okay, that's, you know, fair enough to you. I couldn't do that, to be fair. I much prefer the quiet. Like, I went to watch... I can't even remember what the film was called. I went to watch some weird vampire film where... This woman, she gets invited to what she thinks is her family to like their wedding or something like that, and it's in England. And it was a fairly enjoyable film, to be honest. But no one else was there, like literally no one else in the cinema was there. And personally, I like that because sometimes, especially where I am, you get people taking the shoes off in the cinema. They've got the big stinky ass feet out. They're talking, they're on the phone, everything like that. And I'm like, dude, come on, let people enjoy the film. You know, it's 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 not fair. If I wanted to watch a film and have someone talk through it, I'd stay at home. Wait, here we go. What is the best movie you've watched in the cinema? I'm trying to think of the best movie I've watched in the cinema. I haven't been. Come to think about it, I haven't been to cinema anywhere near as many times as I initially think I have. I want to say, probably. I don't know, I really, really liked Saw X. I really liked that film. And I liked the David Harbour Hellboy. As much as people didn't really enjoy that, did I not need to go down this way? Are you kidding me? Oh no, okay, I did. Okay. We've had more vent sections than we have sneaking through walls slowly. And there's no combat in this mission, which is a bit strange. Normally there is... Do I get the feeling you didn't really need this thing to boost my bike? Well, I could have used something off the shelf, but this accelerator will give you a much stronger. I'll give the judge of that. 
Okay, this is gonna be a bit difficult. Oh shoot, it's gonna it's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Yeah, Saw X is probably the best film I've watched in the cinema. Okay, so is it through? Uh huh. I knew there'd be something through here. I don't think it'll be anything armor-wise. You never really find armor stuff in these crates. Rhythm. Okay, need to wait for them to go up. Hang on. Get rid of them. Okay, has that powered them down? I'm pretty sure it has. Let's go, baby! No, no, no! I clicked it! I clicked it! I clicked it! No! I clicked it, man! Oh. You wouldn't catch Nathan Drake doing that, would you? Right. Okay, let's not jump and be, you know, really cool about it. I just want to be really cool, man, and just jump and be like, oh, yeah, look at me jump and then throw the grappling hook and swing. But no. Right, do we need to climb up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we climb up or? Oh, shoot, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, no! Okay, let's try that again. So, what's the best way to go about it? Hang on, let's get that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stand back and watch what they're doing. So you can't go in the grapple hook there. That fan comes on. You can't climb up there either. I don't know what you do. Maybe. Hang on. Do I go this way? I'm thinking I do, maybe. Oh, bollocks. Okay, that definitely wasn't the way to go. Let's try it again. Maybe there's something I'm missing that I'm not shooting. Shoot that, can I shoot that? No. Oh, okay, the grate right there. Didn't realise. Oh Jesus. Okay, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Right, wait for these to go. Come on, dude, come on. Sneaky, they're fairly quick, them. Come on. Come on, buddy. Taking us time, isn't it? I would not like to be hit by one of them and just be yeeted in there for like the 14th time. Right, here we go. <laughs> Let's just get out of there. Okay. Okay. They seem to have done everything fairly well. You know, the traverse or everything like that. None of it feels bad by any means. It all feels fairly, you know, good and enjoyable. I need to wait for the bottom ones to go down first. Okay. Come on. All right, Max. I guess we're doing this. Right, these fans. No. Okay. I need to jump to those ones. Yeah. Here we go. I'm not going to make it. You know what? Stay in the middle here. We should be okay. I'm going to assume we should be okay. Moment of truth. Okay, we are. We are. Come on. Let's go, Kay. And poor Nyx as well. I feel sorry for Nyx. Not Kay. If, if, if Kay falls to him, impending doom, I could deal with that. But Nyx. Nah. Protect Nyx at all costs. 
when it's cute animals, you, you've got to do everything for them, haven't you? That's just the way I think. And you guys should think the same. Right, is that the call? No, that is not. I hope it's a lot easier getting out. <laughs> that must be it. Ooh, what's that first? Thank you. Uh, have a look around, get that. Thank you. Okay. This could go badly. I have your accelerator. It looks like this place can't run without it. I told you it has some serious kick. And with the winds back to their natural course, you'll have a way out. Hey, finally! There's got to be enemies here, surely. Why would they have an unmanned Imperial wind turbine? Oh, wait there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now you're talking. Let's go, baby! Oh, this is badass. Yeah! Oh, wall, wall. Uh, uh. Nyx is hanging on just fine. He's got the speed goggles now. He's looking cool as ever. I want to see what it's like when you actually do upgrade the speeder. I assume it's going to have the basics, you know, where you can upgrade the speed. I am more so interested in the handling aspect of it because, I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't handle awful at the moment, but it's just a bit, a bit tanky, if that makes sense. I mean, I don't think they ever expect to handle like, you know, like a car in GTA. But if I can just improve the handling of it with a bit more speed, that will be, that'll do me. Doesn't need to be OP, you know, get across the map in 30 seconds. Just some nice, relaxed upgrades. There we go. I'd love one of them so much. Can you imagine how much it would cost to get to get one made though? Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. Why did I tell you, CeeLo? Easy. I never should have made this. At least now, it'll be used for something good. Good is a bit of a stretch. Well, I like you a lot more than I like the Empire. Where's your speeder? I'll just juice the repulsor here and... You're all set. That it's strong enough to ride double now. Oh, really? <laughs> I meant your little pet there. Uh, yeah, me too. That's what I meant. Thanks. I should go. <laughs> See you around, Kay. Okay, new ability, baby. Speed boost. Ah, I was wondering if we'd get something like that. Allows for a short burst of speed. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. It enhances the speeder with a boost engine. What else can you get? Perform a 60 meters long jump without being ejected. Damn. Okay, that's for speed of jump. Oh, that, that's going to come in handy because I crash into rocks so many times. A treasure hunter. Okay, I, I wouldn't think that would be anything to do with the speeder, but... Uh, the mechanic, smoke bomb, scoundrel's pouch... Okay, we just need Jura Fiber Fabric for that. And then Outlaw's pouch, okay, so that can upgrade our pouch, evidently. Now, what equipment can we equip? So we can equip Nyx with something. Ah, oh, superior treat! Wait, what was that? So, Nyx will kick grenades away from Kay. Oh. Easy. What a cool ass creature. Animal. What? And then obviously we got skills for our slicer. And as you can see, there are six more to unlock. God damn. Six more? Okay. So our journal. We've got ten side quests, but we're not going to do any of them yet. We, the past two parts, maybe even three, have been side content purely. And um, we've got no expert intel to do, so I'm happy with that. We've got key part intel, which obviously could come in handy for when we want to craft a load of stuff. We'll probably revisit that, or I might just do it outside of a video, to be honest. But the mechanic, that is what we... 
that's what we've done, isn't it? Now, this is more like it. Now we should say we finished the quest. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I don't know if there's like a level progression system in this. I don't think there is. I think it's basically just do a certain milestone and then you can unlock certain skills. I don't know. I, th I think I prefer it that way because I'm playing Black Myth Wukong at the moment. That's a long game, especially if you keep dying as many times as I do. And obviously that's level based for skills. So false flag. Here we go. Let's actually go to another area. So we're going to another world, world essentially. So if we do that, we should be able to fast travel here. Yeah. This opening world, it's been enjoyable, but I feel like something new would be nice to have because we're already five, six parts in. Okay. Hey, got the fuel injectors here. Perfect. Let's get them installed. Okay, so swap out the components for the Trailblazer. Here we go. So, we can upgrade our weaponry. We can't do that. Here we go. Propulsion. Let's repair that. That's pretty cool. So, we can eventually get laser turrets for it and deflect the shields. Now, I'm wondering when we get to do a bit of combat in our ship. It's a weird looking ship as well. It looks like an old mobile phone, doesn't it? Fuel injectors are good. Just give me a minute to get it ready for takeoff. This looks like it's seen better days. It flies, kinda. You got another job for me? How do you feel about crossing imps? <sighs> not good. Kate, tell her not good. I thought that's a no no around here. That's why we pin it on the pikes. And how do I know Crimson Dawn won't burn me after I pull this off? You don't, but that's the game we play. And yeah, I play it better than most. You just have to sneak into an Imperial station and delete some data. Easy. In space? <laughs> no, she's not ready yet. I'll be fine. I was talking about her. We'll get it done. Oh, so I still can't jump. Guess the core worlds will have to wait. Ah, well, we can still fly. That's the important thing. Let's go to another world, baby. Huh. Ship looks fixed up. Looks pretty sweet. Oh, Nyx has got a bed. Oh, and we got a chew toy charm. Uh, no, I'm not going to switch the bowl. So I think that's... What I equipped before for Nyx. Basically for Nyx to just pick at all the time. Now let's see. Where You're actually sure going. It'll fly, Waka. She will. She probably will. Alright. Let's get moving. Yeah, baby! I'm actually controlling this as well. Yeah, buddy! Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Okay. Coordinates incoming. Got him. Oh, Take okay. Take it easy on the controls, okay? Appreciate the ship. Uh, right. I, I got it. Alira, these coordinates aren't for the space station. First, you'll need a way in. We disabled the shipment freighter en route to the station. They were hauling Sansana. Sansana? Like, spikes? Not until it's processed. Pick it up and pose as the delivery. It's taken a while to fly places. Thank the solar winds for that. But don't worry, this ship can handle anything. Oh, okay. Right. 
Okay, so it looks like we can't free roam yet. Looks fairly cool though, doesn't it? I mean, look at all that. Oh. I'm hoping there are a lot of flying sections in this game. Reminds me of Guardians of the Galaxy. That was an underrated game, and but to be honest, I think what hurt it the most was Avengers coming out. There's the ship. Blast the cargo loose. Just what we needed. Don't let them hit. Waka, I know. We have to fight. I can't get the cargo if they're firing on us. Just protect the trailblazer. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. One more left. Uh, where's the lock on enemy ship? Here we go, missile baby. Here we go, yes. Did we just fire it then or not? No, we can't. We can't do it yet. Okay. Oh, that's fairly sick. So we're shooting where it's gonna be, not where wow. it actually is. This thing can move. Right now. Wait, player wanted status? Oh, there's more. Is there? Here we go. Ah, okay. There. Got it. Perfect. We now have set Santa on board. I'll, um, put the space station coordinates in. Hmm. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Man, look at that lighting. So reach the Imperial Fuel Station. Yeah, this game has succeeded expectations. I'm not saying by any means it's, you know, game of the year or anything like that, but I I don't know why. I just expect it to suffer fairly bare bones and so it's far this from is that. What we're breaking into? Yeah. Just don't do anything suspicious. You know what? I'm gonna disable the ship's weapons. Just in case. Yeah, it's probably smart. Okay, so the Imperials are probably going to be like, hmm, wait, do we go through there? I think maybe we go through this little tunnel. Kratos, you are in unauthorized space. Turn around or prepare to be fired upon. Negative, negative. Our Darius G-Class freighter ran into some trouble. Had to switch to this ship for your, uh, cargo delivery. What the hell? I kind of left the area, but I was literally flying towards where I need to go to in the ship. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe I just need to literally go to that way. Follow what them. are we stealing anyway? Nothing. You're deleting debts. Every syndicate in Mirogana owes Governor Thornton money. The records are on that station. So I find the data vault, delete the pike debts, and Thornton thinks they've messed with his records. Wipe the data. Frame the pikes. Crimson Dawn comes out on top. Why do I feel like Lyra's using us? Because it's Crimson Dawn. 